Reef DVM's coming at you today with, you know, just putting the chain hooks on the skid steer bucket. You just, you really can't beat this for, you know, use and utility. I know the dealers can't put these things on because of liability, but buy yourself some really strong chain hooks. You can use um, circle D rings. You can use um, chain loopers. It really doesn't matter what you put on and go to the edge of your bucket. Make sure it's not going to hit anything when you roll your bucket up on your skid. And weld a pair of these suckers on. It really, really um, helps you move things around, especially with the chains. You can put it on the side. You can put it on the top. Figure out where you like them and weld the suckers on. I think they should pretty much come factory standard. They'd work great. Um, that would certainly relieve the dealers of the liability. We took a bucket here. We cleaned this puppy up. This one goes on a 20, uh, 325G. And, you know, once we clean it up, it looks like it's brand new in that spot, you know. But um, get it all cleaned up. Pick your location. And we're going to grab, um, you know, a little welding jacket here and throw it over the top to protect, you know, some of the um, traction grip surface there and a couple of the stickers. Um, and then we're going to put our magnet there up against it. And we're going to get our position. And then we're just going to quick tack it down. We've already uh, scratched the surface underneath this one. And then we're just going to really weld the crap out of it, make it nice and strong. And uh, once we've got it like that, this thing will be ready to rock and roll with a little bit of paint. Um, I've put these on other people's buckets. Um, I've put them on my own buckets. They work absolutely fantastic, folks. You know, one thing these things are really great at is grabbing chain. Um, but I've used them for tow ropes and pulling equipment out of, of ditches and stuff. Um, I've lifted the bucket up and lifted up deer. Um, certainly moving pieces of equipment and logs helps. Here we're just kind of tack welding it in with the little mag welder. Um, once we've got it, you know, kind of set there in place, we're going to take the stick. Because this um, particular um, hook that I've got is a little bit more worn with the tish, more rust on it. Even after uh, cleaning it up, we're going to put a lot of weld down and really bond it in. We're going to use the stick welder for it. So here we go, we take a rod and just literally weld that sucker right down to that bucket. It's one of the few things that I do to a skid steer when I get it. Yes, we do put, you know, a flashing light up on top so that, you know, we can be seen at night. And a lot of times I'll put a seat cover on it just because we're getting out of it so dirty. It makes it easier to wash and clean. But other than that, I really don't do a lot of enhancements to um, the skid steers on the farm. Except for this. This is almost a necessity. Matter of fact, I don't even do this to just skid steers. I've got this on the buckets that go on the tractors, too. It just makes it easier to have a place to hook a chain to, tie a rope off, even for that matter, you know, put a piece of equipment in it, and quick twine it across so it doesn't fall out of the bucket while you're transporting it. Here I'm just taking the angle grinder, and we're just taking some paint off um, before we weld the other side. We did that on the first side, too. I didn't, didn't show it, but we did do it on there. just makes for a nice... Um, good weld. You're not frying paint and trying to burn through paint as you're as you're laying down your weld. Certainly, if your bucket is newer, um, your metal underneath will be crisper and cleaner. But if it's a little pitted, a little rusted, a little scratched up, just take the angle iron, ground it down to some good old metal, and weld these suckers on. These things aren't that expensive to get. Um, I find the easiest place to get them is Amazon. Each one can hold between 600 and 1,200 pounds, depending upon how thick and how big you, you want to get them. Um, the little magnet thing here that we use with the welder, that's like 30 bucks at Menards. They're cheap and kind of easy to use. On this side, we're just going to tack it in with the um, stick, and the reason being is my big welder doesn't quite reach. But, you know, can be done too. Just a quick couple taps, and we're up and running, and off we go. One thing nice, the weather here this spring has been good, so it's been easy to get work done. Some springs has been so wet and so windy and cold, you can't get anything done. Just lay that bead in nice and thick as we pull it along. I think these are actually, uh, I want to say, 600 pound um, three ace hooks. I don't think they're halves, but they're three ace hooks, and they work well with the chains we have. Again, I don't always use chains on these. 
I think it took a total of about four sticks to get these things welded on. So minimal effort and it's on. So here they are on. I took some black spray paint and just quick touch them up. Especially while they're warm, paint just bakes right into that metal. It works great. And this bucket is ready to go. Time to get the skid steer in here, get it picked up, and uh, these will be on this bucket forever, even if we get rid of the skid steer. Whoever will get it, we'll get these. Uh, we'll get these uh, hooks on it. It's a good thing to do to your bucket. Again, use a hook, use a D ring, uh, put the hooks on the top like we did. You can put them on the back side. I don't really care as long as you make sure they don't hit when you tip your bucket up. They're a fantastic tool, folks. I'd highly recommend you do it. Um, they work great. In this situation here, um, it's just going to add more versatility to the to the 325G. I appreciate you watching, folks. Thanks for liking and subscribing to our channel. Without your guys' great support, um, this channel would never exist. Thanks.